Hi, morning everyone. Richard here. Guess uh, I'm out at the park again. And uh, guess what I have today? This is the Canon R7 with the 800mm f11 lens, right? So technically this over 1000mm <laughs> if you times by the crop factor of uh, 1.6. So it's about 1128 or something like that. So uh, interestingly, <laughs> But I did something to this uh, lens. Uh, I did. I put a speed booster inside, right? So I'll show you after. I put a speed booster inside this lens, so it brings it back down to roughly about 930 mm, right? 930 mm. Uh, I cut the f11 into f8. So it'll be fun. I, I want to try this out. I, I tested this on the R8 before, and I use crop mode on R8. But uh, this is a crop sensor and uh, R7 is crop sensor, so it doesn't need to what. But uh, there would be a slight vignetting at the side because of the speed booster. Uh, but then again, uh, the rest uh, of the center and about 90% of the frame uh, is clear. So you have a slight edge uh, vignetting because of the circular, circular uh, speed booster, right? So let's get some photos out. This is very interesting, a very light setup. Uh, and I want to have fun with this today. Okay, just to show you how the speed booster is. Yes, the speed booster fitted inside here. You can see. Right, so that's how it looks like. And because this is a crop sensor, so it's just the right size. With a slight vignetting at the side uh, edges. But uh, that's how the speed booster will look like. When it's fitted in. So I have these tabs here just in case I need to take out the speed booster and I put it back in. So as with the 800mm, you need to pull it out and push it out and then uh, that's how it, how it looks like, right? So that's the size and then you turn it on. That's how the image looks like. The, the thing about the 800mm on the R7 is it has a square box. Unlike the R8, you get uh, about 80% uh, box but the R7 is uh, just a square box. So that's the thing about Canon. I don't know why they just want to handicap this. Technically, can go to the full sensor for the crop sensor. So anyway, there's a nice uh, birds there. Let's try to get some shots uh, before they fly off with this uh, setup. The stabilization on the lens and the IVs is very good on the Canon R7 and the 800mm. So no problem with going down lower shutter speed. You just have to make sure the subject don't move too much. Yeah, the magpie is on the ground. Yeah, it's looking for worms. Good thing about good and bad thing about the square box on the center. Great for when the birds are static on the ground. Bad for when the birds are flying, birds in flight. Very hard to track with just a square box. You need actually the full uh, sensor to track it. Okay, two fan tails here. Just right in front of me. Really full. There is. One over 400 second. ISO 320. Look at the bokeh behind, it's so nice. Because uh, it's uh, F8. It's still F11. Blind me, the magpie is just right in front of me. <laughs> oh yeah, he just landed there. Giving me a nice shot. Let's get it before it flies off. Beautiful, beautiful bird. It's magpie robin. It's very fat. It's, I think it's very well fed here. It's got a lot of food for it. So that's the bird. Yep, there is it. Look at that. Look at the sharpness on the eyes. With the speed booster, it's fantastic good. With the blur off background compared to the 800mm f11, it's much nicer, smoother, okay behind. Right, the other thing about the 800mm is uh, it can focus really, really far only. It can't come near to any uh, area. I think it's about like what 20 meter 20 feet it's quite far and uh 
but the the advantage of the speed booster is you can focus a bit nearer i think like 1.5 times instead of uh sorry yep much nearer so i can get this dragonfly now see the distance is much shorter than without the speed booster let's see if i can get one more step a bit closer nice dragonfly flying around there yep yep the pain about having a such a long distance lens is trying to track birds in flight with a square tiny box <laughs> uh, i really don't know why canon handicapped this uh, lens else it would be perfect but uh as usual canon doing canon stuff you know on the r8 it managed to get like roughly 90 percent 80 percent but it's a square box on this guy so i have no idea why and the r5 as well <laughs> so utterly no logic birds are around here oh my god they're playing around there oh they're having some food grub there oh there's lots of food no wonder they're there the miners are there okay seems to be lots of uh, birds i haven't seen it's actually inside the tree area shaded and i can't seem to find them but uh let's go over to the other side where the the sun is behind me and the the birds will be well lit. Uh, let's get some uh, one over four thousand second shots <laughs> on this just as i was speaking the bee eater just right in front of me there it is lucky me there is the woodpecker that's the flame back woodpecker there it is now if only i can get a side angle shot this back lead uh, against the sunlight with my luck there's a tiny little fat sunbird just sitting there right in front of me just landed there Right in front of me and uh, hopefully I can get some nice shots of this again back lead <laughs> I don't know how the shots gonna come out really like but uh it's challenging uh, okay this angle seems to be brighter so because at least I can see the face yeah very fat guy my god it's so cute I'm not sure if I can get closer before it flies off he seems to be very happy sitting there let me get a few steps forward before it flies off and uh, yeah he seems to be okay with me coming near and he's such a cute little guy and he's puff up yeah look at that how cute does this look guy it's so cute look at that i'm so near oh so near so that looks like i i hope i got the yawn shot so he looks like he's puff up oh yeah i got the yawn shot look at that that one is so nice this one is beautiful okay uh the reason why I, I got this r7 with the 800f11 is to test first to test the speed booster on the r7 crop sensor 1.6 times crop uh and it does work i am so happy for it and the re the other reason is because i'm waiting for the r7 II to come out it's supposed to come out this month uh, but they delayed it and i heard now it's probably the uh, third quarter or fourth quarter right it will be even longer so in while i'm waiting for that i just get the r7 to test it out with the lens setup so once the r7 II comes i'll probably grab the r7 II with this lens setup with the speed booster it will probably be a great combo because the rolling shutter will be gone and then i can shoot a high frame rates and hopefully it's a stack sensor and uh, with a high megapixel so that would be great for this setup it's very light and i can pack this into a bag and go hiking with it so i see you on the next video i hope you like this one and uh, the little hack that i have and uh, do test it with your own uh, 800 mm f11 uh, that is the Viltrox ef uh, m uh, speed booster which is meant for canon so you can try it with the ef uh, eos m uh, speed booster so you have a look at that and i'll see you on the next one bye have a nice day